most professionals organize their work in files, with a separate file for each client or matter they're working on. Depending on your profession, you might refer to these files as projects, matters, clients, cases, briefs, or something else. We'll call them files in these tutorials. You can call them what you like in Credenza. The heart of Credenza is the ability to relate all your Outlook information to your files. A file is like a virtual file folder where you store information relating to one matter. You can associate emails, contacts, notes, tasks, appointments, phone calls, documents, and time entries to a file. This makes it easier to be organized, to find information when you need it, and to bill for your activities. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create and manage your files. Credenza adds three new tabs to Outlook's Navigator. To manage your files, simply click on the Files tab to bring up a list of your files. You may not want to look through all of your files to find the one you want, so you can use the filters at the top to change which ones appear. They can be filtered by status, such as Special, Active, Dormant, Closed, or All, Billing Status, Billable, Non-Billable, or Personal, and Type of File. As with all Outlook lists, you can click on the column header to sort the order they're listed in. The list currently shows the name of the file and what type it is. If you want to see more information on each file in the list, you can change which columns appear by right-clicking, selecting Show Fields, and then transferring a new field into the right-hand list. To view a file, just double-click on it. Creating a new file is easy. Just click the New button in the Credenza toolbar. You can also double-click or right-click in the list, or choose New File from the File menu. New files can also be created from within your other Outlook activities. There's more information on that in the Changes to Outlook tutorial. In the window that appears, you can now define the particulars of your new file. Give it a name and choose its type. You can set a default file type from the Preferences pane under the Credenza menu. There's more on this and other preferences in the Customizing and Setting Up Credenza tutorial. In the File Summary box, you can add any details of the file you might want to store to explain the file. So what exactly is stored in a file? Anything you can do in Outlook can be associated to a file, from emails and appointments to notes and tasks. From the General tab, you can edit the name and type of your file. This is also where you can see all of the contacts associated with this file and make new associations. Simply hit the Contact button, select a contact from your Outlook list, and choose their role. I'll assign this one as Client and press Associate. You can also associate a contact by just dragging and dropping them into the list below. You can add as many contacts as you like to one file. If you need to create a new contact, you can do that by hitting the New Contact button. If later on you wish to change the role of a contact listed on a file, you can just click on their role to reveal the drop-down list, or right-click on a selected contact and choose Change Role. The Details tab is where you set up the information your accounting system may require and define your billing status and rates. You can input the client ID and file ID for your accounting system here and choose whether this is a billable, non-billable, or personal file, and what rates you will charge for services associated with this file. You can add to these drop-down lists and define your own rates. We'll talk about that in the Customizing and Setting Up Credenza tutorial. This tab is also where you change the status of the file. If I set it to Closed, today's date will appear to show when the file was closed. If you want to keep track of the referral source for this file, you can add that in the text box at the bottom. Emails, appointments, tasks, and notes associated to this file can be found under their respective tabs. These are all Outlook items. They appear in their usual places in Outlook and are collected together by file in Credenza. Double-click on any item in the list to see its details. 
To create a new one of any of these activities, simply click the New button at the top or from the main file tab. You can also view your time entries and phone calls on this file from their tabs. There is more information about that in other tutorials. Another tab is Chronology. This will list all of the activities in this file in chronological order. It's a great way to get an overview of all the activities that have happened on this file and see when everything occurred. Double click on any activity to view its details. The Custom tab allows you to keep track of whatever extra information you want. This creates tremendous flexibility for managing your practice. Note that custom information is defined according to file types, so you can track different information on different types of files. To create a custom field, press Edit Custom Fields to open the editor. Press New at the top and select which type of field you would like. The field types include memos, text boxes, check boxes, numbers, percents, dates, drop-down lists, and lines to organize the page. I'll make a memo. Name the field and the number of lines the memo will contain and hit OK. You can position this field on either side of the page with the arrows in the middle or by dragging and dropping it to the correct position. Press Save and Close now and you can fill out your field in the main view. All files of this type will now have the field we just defined. Credenza also allows you to track all the documents related to a file. If you have a folder on your computer or network where you keep the documents relating to this file, you can have that folder's contents appear within Credenza. It's tremendously useful to have all your documents in the same place as all your emails, appointments, and other items relating to each file. To do this, go to the Documents tab and click Set Up Documents. Use the Browse buttons to identify where the documents for this file are stored. Note that, if you are using Credenza in a work group, the shared documents location will be the same for everyone in your work group, but you can each have your own local documents. Click OK, and you can now see your documents on the file. The Documents view works just like Windows Explorer, so you can browse to the other folders right from here. Now that you've mastered files, we recommend you watch the tutorial on using timesheets next. Thank you for watching.